what's up guys so tis the season it's almost december 1st um oh yeah this is my sister by the way it's my older sister her name is tanya roki she has her own youtube channel as well but to do last night i bought a bunch of christmas things to decorate my car and they're all candy cane themed so this blue wrap here is gonna be all candy cane and everything's gonna be wrapped in candy cane and even the interior i got only red lights we don't do the colorful ones because candy cane that's why let me show you guys what i got real quickly and then we're gonna get started so first things first was this red bow tie i didn't want to do the red nose because the bow is a little bit more different and then i also got as I mentioned, I got two sets of red lights just so I can do the interior and exterior. And the way I'm going to connect those lights to the car is just this inverter you can get for like 20 bucks or even 15 bucks um, that plugs into an outlet to your car and also has the USB ports as well, which is pretty sweet. You can find that at Walmart as well. And then these are the first couple things I picked up and then it gave me the candy cane idea was these. I forgot what these are called. What are they called? They used to use them as a kid all the time. Something stems, fuzzy stems, I guess. And then I got these. I'm gonna be wrapping these around like my shift knob and steering wheel. And I got this candy cane ribbon. I got a stocking C for the passenger seat. I also got a Christmas tree. And then I got a bunch of masking tape. I got it in red. So it actually matches my paint because this blue is a wrap and the actual color of my car is red. So inside of the door, you can see it's all red. So that's gonna match it. So I got a third one just in case. And then I got this. What is this even called? Tinsel garland. Um, I'm gonna be wrapping this around somewhere. And then I also got two rolls of candy cane wrapping paper. So that's gonna be fun. I'm finally done making some TikToks. <laughs> oh my gosh. And now we're about to get ready to wrap. So this is how you properly vinyl wrap a car. No, I'm just kidding. This is how you properly wrap a car if you're about to gift it to someone or you just wanna be that person and wrap a car because it's fun. I'm gonna be laying it out and then I'm gonna be taping everything through the interior. Do you, do you guys see how my interior is actually red? So my car is actually red. So I'm gonna be using red masking tape to tape it on the sides. I like estimated the amount I needed. Um, obviously made more room than what I actually need and we'll be cutting the wrapping paper and wrapping the door first. All right guys, so I'm just carefully cutting around the um, door handle. I honestly don't know where it is. I'm just kind of guessing. Um, looks like I'm guessing right. Not bad, not bad. Ends right here. Let me cut it from here. And then I'm gonna cut this end from here. If you have the right measurements, this would go a lot smoother. I can promise you that much. All this ripping, you guys won't see it because I'm putting tape around it anyways. So that's why I'm not worried if it looks tacky right now. I do want to point out getting masking tape that matches the color of your wrap helps a lot because you could just tape it everywhere and it still look really nice. Um, not just like that, right? Am I not missing any edges? I think we're good. I need to make room. It has to be a tight fit because once the door shuts, this paper will rip. So make sure you're able to fold it in correctly. Um, as you can see on this end, I need to rip more. Just like that. Like that. To speed up the process, me and Tanya are just taking a bunch of masking tape and getting it ready. with wrapping paper it's so much more delicate than it is with vinyl because it's very stiff and one like false move will literally cut make the whole wrapping paper rip unless you buy very good quality wrapping paper that's like for some reason flexible and foldable but this is really hard to deal with but we're getting there just like that masking it off with red tape just like that quick little checkup um uh, it is clearly getting darker outside and this is how much we've gotten done we still have to do the back bumper the front bumper and then we gotta put the lights in and i have all these different random decorations i have to stick on so that's absolutely wonderful 
No! You can't see me right now because me and Tanya went to Starbucks and grabbed some coffee so we can continue wrapping this car because it's taking forever. It's only like 6.30 p.m. but it's pitch dark as I mentioned. What's up? We still out here in the freezing cold. I'm trying to find pieces that would fit this section of the taillights. I might just use this. It's a holiday. But just like that. All done like that. Just like that. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually taking the masking tape and rolling it up into a circle so I can tape it from behind so some of the masking tape doesn't show and it looks like it's a whole wrapping paper piece. So that's something I've been doing a lot. We're <sighs> on to the back. I am just chopping it up right over here so I can mask it all off. All right, okay. All right, guys, so now it's quick cleanup time while Tanya unwraps the second roll of wrapping paper. We're just down to the side view mirror and then onto the lights. I'm basically going to be wrapping it around the side view mirror and going back and forth. That's just going to help it stay. I look like a Yeti right now. Please don't mind me. Don't screenshot this picture. Don't do anything with this video. Let's see this. I do have that cigarette lighter right over here and I also have one right over here that's hooked on to two. I know I use a lot of power in this car. <laughs> I guess I'll take my charger out and then I will take this. Hopefully you guys can see. Hook it on right over here and you could just like fold it like that. So that's where the outlet's gonna go and it's gonna go right behind my seat. There we go. I'm gonna bring these lights out. Basically what I'm gonna be doing is Wrapping this around the side view mirror once and then bring it around the other side and Tanya's gonna be doing the same thing to the other side view mirror. Are we gonna have them like up there across? So I like it. it. Right. No, no, right there, yeah. Like Tanya mentioned, it would be better if it's like right over here, which I agree. So I'm gonna be putting some masking tape where I have the lining. And we're gonna put right over here. And wrap it around. Damn, I thought buying two boxes, I was like, I was gonna buy three and I was like, nah, I'm gonna put one aside. I don't even think I'm gonna use two. It only went like twice. That's so unfortunate. So basically I would need four boxes if I wanted to go back and forth just for the roof. So I'm just continuing the tape line right over here. And then more. Just like that. Now we are moving on to the second box, even though I don't know where it is. Where is it? Who stole our lights, yo? All right, so now we're using this garland, whatever it's called. Yeah, starting from here, we'll just tape that right under. Okay. We have some. I like this side, idea. This is cute. Yeah, we do. <laughs> this is so cute. I'm just. There we go. And we're done with the spoiler. Down oh, here. also, like we could do the lining. Right oh here. yeah. If we, did we were the talking lining. about that earlier. Roll this and put it underneath it. Here, I'll hold it. Thanks, G. I think I'm just gonna put it right over here with some 3M tape. Kinda hard doing it by myself, but this is the, don't look at my white sweats. This is the 3M tape I will be using. Right over here, come on. And it looks so cute. I'm just pressing firmly for like 30 seconds. Right, what's next for the interior? We have a stocking, so I'm gonna, wow. Right here, we're gonna make it fit. There we go. Look how cute. There we go. I brought the lights in here. Oh, I do have hooks. Okay, so I will be using these then. My grandma drawer knob, drawer, drawer, shift knob, whatever you guys like to call it. I guess I'll start from the back. I don't know how much you guys can see, but, I'm... and then I'm gonna be hooking it on right here. That looks pretty nice. And I guess I'll make it travel back. So I'm gonna close this. And I'm gonna make it travel back around here. And then do the same thing with my visor. The hook is, I need to clean my headliner, it's dirty. But I basically wrapped it around. That's all the room I had. Well, here's the setup. As I mentioned one more time, I put this little ribbon right here just to add a nice little touch. I could be doing it to here as well, but I'm going to get a red blanket. Lay it down right over here just to create some nice vibes. So decorating the interior looks 
really good so far and I decided to do this as well. This is what it looks like you guys. This is literally crazy. We literally outdid ourselves and look at the interior. But it looks literally just as crazy. Um, I'm thinking about wrapping. Can you see from here? Not at all. Oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> we wrapped the whole trunk so we can't even open it. Also, why is your doll here? I don't you know You put why. it there, I don't know. I think I was gonna, I'm gonna put it here. What do you think? Yeah, get the edges. Yeah, and I'm covering up my my speakers, I have giant speakers in the back. I'm gonna use this red blanket and cover the seat solid. I'm gonna put this blanket right over here. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it doesn't look as good as I thought it would, but it looks kind of cozy, I think. <laughs> as she's inside decorating, I decided to do this. The tape won't stick to it, so I have to wipe off all the dirt, basically. And I'm gonna put the tape like this all around. All right, I got the tape all around, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put this right on top. All right, now that I have it on, I'm basically just gonna go around and cut like this. And that's how you create this look. I'm recording from the inside, and let's see if these lights work. Two, all right, let's see what Christina thinks. Why are you walking like that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Stand here and look at the tires. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that looks so crazy. Ready? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so cool. <laughs> so, crazy. so I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this all around there. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> and you can see them from this side as well through the louvers. All right guys, so we are taking it out. We are about to go to the park to get some pictures and then we are going to get some gas. Shift knob looks so cute like this. All right guys, so we're getting some footage in here real quick for TikTok and just lots of pictures. Honestly, it looks really good in my opinion. Um, I think like Tanya said, um, adding the, the wrapping paper to the <laughs> rim of the car really made it look nice. I think it looks super duper dope. And you can see through the windshield, the lights and from this side as well. And I just think this car is a whole vibe now. So I didn't end last night's video, of course, because I freaking suck, but I am getting better, I promise. Basically, we finished wrapping the car and you guys saw how it looked, so please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if I helped you in any way. Wait, if you guys do end up wrapping your car or decorating your car for Christmas, please tag me. It would mean the world to me. I'd love to see it because my birthday is on Christmas and I honestly think we should normalize decorating our cars for Christmas just as much as we decorate homes. So please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and me and Tanya basically just pimped out her ride right now. It looks so, so cool and cute. Yeah, and we're not done yet. If you guys go hop on her channel at Tanya Roki, you guys get to see the finished product of what her Corolla looks like. 